Are you taking your snacks and stuff? How's it going? I'm the cat whisperer, guys. As you can tell. What you doing? You ready to go, Patrick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Water. Yeah, you can spill your water. See, you spilled a little bit. Look at that bridge, guys. We're building in one year. That looks so sick. I never seen an actual bridge. Good morning, guys. Today is April 7th, 2016. And we are now officially three weeks out. So, technically speaking, I think of it as two weeks out. Three weeks out because it's three weeks out, but... It's not three weeks out because the last week, you're not really working out. You're focused on what you're eating, what you're taking in. Now I'm still doing that, but it's more strictly resting in a way for that last week. The grinding weeks are these last, are these two, next two weeks really. So, so what I wanted to talk about really was about my whole dieting and whatnot. And you guys could tell, I mean, on my last flexing video, I didn't look as lean as I was in the one just previous before that I gained about one or two pounds and I know I said I weigh 159 I'm trying to show you guys I made progress but with that one it's hard to say you guys can tell I look a little bit fuller and whatnot I don't know what I did wrong but I did you know suspect a couple things because I think the thing is is I cut my sodium down that week so the entire week I didn't really have much sodium and whatnot obviously you get sodium from meat still but added on sodium so I didn't have any sauce I didn't have any salts, um, just any extra sodium. Uh, what I did look to my meals though is that I noticed I've been having more salads. And the thing is, I was looking at the Caesar salad dressing that has lots of lots of calories. So what I decided to do now is get the My Fitness app. That's the one that Christian Guzman uses. It's very good. It actually tracks your macros very well, in my opinion. Uh, I noticed I've been eating a little bit more raspberries, and that has lots of carbohydrates, blueberries. Like it's good to have everything in minimal but since I am gonna be competing in this competition I have to be careful as to what I'm taking and whatnot but I don't know if you guys have noticed I've noticed that I looked a little bit fuller so I was surprised because I've been still doing my cardio 30 minutes of cardio my rest days 12 to 15 minutes of cardio just on my regular working out days so I'm constantly doing cardio almost every single day um, so I noticed that and I cut down the salads right away so this was I'd say two three days ago and now I'm looking back to normal back to like really cut back to really really veiny, you know, the lower ab veins are starting to come out again. Well, they're still out, and they still were out when I was eating salads and whatnot, right? But I notice it's weird. It's like when I have sodium, I look better. I don't know if that's supposed to be what you're supposed to do for the competition, because I know uh, you're supposed to increase sodium by one to two grams every single day when it's one week out, and then decrease water, and then increase carbs. It's very confusing. I still gotta do some more research. Uh, I've done lots and lots and lots of research um, as to like different people, how they use, what they use to carb up, what they use with their, when they're having sodium, right? This is all for my um, experience. You guys are experiencing this with me. It's my first competition. You guys got to realize that. I'm obviously going to come in the best shape as I can, and that's why I'm trying to learn from every mistake I am having for myself. And really, guys, let's just win this. Let's go over there, win this show, go on to the next, win the next show. And you guys will love this channel. I love me, Oxkito. And trust me, there's more content coming soon. You guys already know by seeing what I just ate. I just had some eggs and bacon. And I tracked that in my My Fitness Pal app or whatever it's called. And you get here. So I'm just getting some ground beef right now to cook. Then I get carrots. See, these are huge carrots. I don't know. I think that's normal. Maybe it's normal. Okay. Now this is a big carrot. Okay, <laughs> gonna whack somebody with it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna use this carrot. Get 
some broccoli now. I found easiest is just get like these big packets of broccoli that are all cut up and everything. Because if you buy those like just big broccoli things and take it out and all that, usually that's cheaper than it would to buy those big broccoli things, right? So I just buy that and then with carrots you just cut it up so you don't have to worry too much. You don't have to get those baby carrots. Those are all like injected with stuff and all that. That's not natural. I'd rather have natural food because I have a natural body. So it just makes sense. I'm not going vegan, but I just, you know, just eat normal food. <laughs> and what else do I need? Okay. So what I did cut down to is I think I cut down to about 400 grams of ground beef. 400 to about 500, roughly. Depending on the whole situation, right? But I'm not having any carbs whatsoever, so I could kind of do that. And I am doing cardio lots. Working out lots, so I'm cutting down. I don't know if my physique looks good right now. Let's see. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Oh, yeah. So I'm looking pretty lean, as you guys can tell. Anyways, i got to cut down my fruits, as I was just talking about. i got to cut down my apples. My Because I, I was telling you guys before, if you've been following me for a while now, you guys know that I eat tons of apples. I've been eating like four or five apples a day. Has it has lots of sugar, so it's spiking up my insulin levels, and which is not good. So I'm cutting down in fruits. Uh, I can eat vegetables, whatever vegetable I want, but fruits, especially, I gotta cut down. I can still have fruits, but be very, very careful as to what I'm taking, what I'm eating. So I'm just gonna cook this stuff here. Show you guys how I make it. You guys know how I make ground beef, just simple. And then I cut up this carrot broccoli and I'm gonna make about three of these meals all together all the same stuff very plain but welcome to the bodybuilding lifestyle it doesn't have to be plain but that's why I'm doing it right now so I don't mess up macros stuff like that and I don't I don't want to be putting every single detail as to what I'm tracking and whatnot like I'd rather make it simple so I don't make over complicate it for myself in general so okay chef Ramsey back just with a little update here we got ourselves some ground beef cooking getting fried Hasn't really started cooking yet. And we got ourselves here some broccoli and carrots. Very creative. Yeah, they call me Chef Ramsay when I'm in the kitchen. Typical. I know. Typical. So unfortunately guys, I will not be able to record my workout today. I was not able to get someone to come with me. We were actually supposed to, well, I was supposed to work out with my good friend Cassiano. We were gonna work out, you know, things, uh, we plan everything and all that, but you know, I mean, work comes to play, school, all that kind of stuff, right? And that comes first. I think that comes first before anything. You know, working out this all hobby, this all to stay in shape, it's all for fun. So I was not unfortunately not able to get someone to record or have a good workout with someone, so today, I will be going alone, the lone wolf, the lone soldier, making gains. So yeah, today I am going alone. Today I am going to be hitting chest and triceps. And for chest and triceps, what I normally do is I start it off with either uh, pushing, so it would be any type of pushing movement. So it would be either bench or dumbbell, uh, dumbbell press, right? And that would mainly um, be higher reps now because I'm not so focused now on Sorry about that. I'm not so focused now on lifting the heavy weight and all that. Now, this is literally, guys, two weeks out. I mean, I'm focused on cutting down, maintaining muscle, and simple as that, right? And for triceps, I will start with a push down or pull down or whatever you want to call it. And then I will burn it out towards the end. Same thing with chest. I will start with the pushing movements and then burn it out with some squeezing movements. Really, with any muscle, it's good to do that. Super excited guys, so I just got two packages in the mail, and let's check out what we got here. So we got two big packages, and I gotta see what's in it, and I'll show you guys in a sec. Okay, let's see what we got here in the first package. Okay, so these are actually the CDs, with all the pictures I took with my good friend Sonio. Uh, Surya or so it's Surya or Sonio, I always mess it up, I'm pretty sure it's Surya actually. Okay, so I got three discs here. This is over about, I'd say, close to 2,000 or more pictures that we've taken. We're going to be taking more just before my competition, so super cool. Check them out in a bit. Let's check out the second package now. 
Okay, so this is what, actually what I ordered on eBay. I ordered a two terabyte portable hard drive because my computer hasn't been really holding enough space. I do have lots of stuff now since I'm recording with such a good camera and everything and I do gotta save a couple items here and there, you know. If, uh, well, the thing is, I use all those programs like Sony Vegas, uh, Adobe After Effects. I am a PC user, not an Apple user, so I do know like with Apple you could only use so many things like Final Cut Pro and whatnot. But I like PC more, I prefer more. So I had to get this two terabytes, so it's a lot of room, a lot of space, and I could create more videos and whatnot without being with pretty much less problems than I have right now to be honest. Now for the reveal of the newest channel art. Boom! It's looking really, really nice. I mean, I tried to make like two sides, so you can see one side is more so realistic, other side more so cartoony, Goku, Dragon Ball Z, all you fitness guys, you guys know what I'm talking about, everybody watch Dragon Ball Z. Honestly guys, it didn't take very long, but it's more so the idea, I wanted to put something, I wanted to create like myself and then another thing, so I was thinking like a lion, but uh, Mike Rashad already did that, or you know, something that, that I personally do like in general, like I like lions or wolves or or something cool, so I thought, why not? Goku, right? Super Saiyan mode, too. I'm pretty sure that's Super Saiyan 2. You know who'd like this? Goku Flex. Had to cut down my portion size, so it kind of sucks. Uh, this is more so for the competition. Like, I mean, look at that. It's like, I'd say 100 grams of ground beef, maybe less. Like, no vegetables. It sucks. So what I'm filling myself up with, other than that, is just a cup or a cup and a half of raspberries. So, and I have about two more of these. That's really all I'm going to have today, guys. This, two more of these today. It's 4 o'clock now, which is okay. And I'm going to have another one maybe 3 hours from now, 2 hours from now, then head to bed. Honestly, when you're on meal prep and whatnot... Here, I'm just going to show you guys quickly. When you're on meal prep and all that stuff... Oh, my camera's all over the place. Yeah, when you're on meal prep, it sucks because it's like waiting till the next meal, when you should eat your next meal, uh, when you're going to the gym, when you're going to eat afterwards. It's honestly the most complicated thing in the world, but really not the most complicated thing in the world. It's very simple. It's just mind-boggling. It messes with your mind because you want to eat whatever you want to eat. Uh, this is the first time I've been on a diet, so this is my experience. It sucks, guys. Dieting sucks. So when people say it sucks, it does suck. It's not an easy thing to do. It is simple to do and all that. It can get a little expensive depending on what you're getting. But really, it's simple, but it's not simple at the same time. So I just finished the workout now, guys. I did chest, triceps, abs, cardio. For cardio, I did 10 minutes, so I would do uh, two minutes. Oh, this guy has to get out of this parking right now. Okay, as I was saying though, I did two minutes warm up, walking, high incline. Then I did eight minutes of sprints, sprints every 30 seconds. So I would sprint for 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds, sprint for 30, rest for 30, do that to eight minutes, uh, up to speed, all that kind of good stuff, you know? It's kind of like high interval training. So hit training, I love hit training. Easiest way to cut down in my personal opinion. And, sorry. So, I did that. <laughs> Then I did chest. Well, I started with chest. Then I did triceps. With chest, I just did lots and lots of push-ups. So every time I would have a set for any exercise, I would do at least 10 to 12 push-ups. So I did probably over 200 push-ups for this exercise just for chest. So I'm doing high volume, lots of reps. Really make myself sweat and feel pumping that muscle, right? We're trying to maintain muscle, not trying to lose muscle or gain muscle, right? And then for triceps, lots of supersets. That was key in this exercise or this workout today. Um, lots of supersets allowed me to burn fat on, in that area for the triceps. So it allow, allows for more of the triations to show and whatnot, right? And then for abs, same thing. Lots of supersets, lots of drop sets. That's key right now as to what I'm doing since I'm cutting down. And then did the cardio that I just explained to you guys like two minutes ago, I think. But really, that was a workout. Couldn't record it. I'm sorry about that, guys. Couldn't get anyone to come. But, I mean, next time I will promise to record it for the next vlog. Because then, right now, I'm three weeks out. So, I will be two weeks, I believe. Yeah, two weeks out. I don't know how, how I say I believe for that. I mean, it is. Yeah, two weeks out for the next one. And for the one week out, I don't believe I'm going to do a specific video because for one week out I believe I'm gonna be doing like six days out five days out four days out so I'll be doing a video every single day 
let you guys what I'm doing and whatnot. Um, I might not show my physique depending on what the whole situation is. Depending if I want to save it for the very end, which is like one day out or like show day, right? I'm not quite sure on that just yet. When we get there, we'll decide. But for now, every single week as every single day when there's one week out and right now every single Sunday. And if you guys don't know that already, every single Sunday is a new vlog. Every single Wednesday is a new flexing and progress. <laughs> So what I officially decided is to have three of the meals, not four of them, because I created four, but I just decided to have three. And what I'm gonna do is have one now, so I just got home from the gym, have one during my break for work, which is gonna be around seven. Right now it's about three o'clock, so I'll be fasting for about four hours. And then I'll have one after work, which ends at nine, so I'll probably have the meal around 10 maybe 9 45 that is the executive decision that i've made today next time you see me guys all this is gonna be gone i'm not going bald but i'm getting short sides and back and then a trim up top i'm not gonna thin it though i'm gonna keep it thick um it's gonna be trimmed though so it's not gonna be as long and you guys can see my outfit galaxy line here we go work time that's how we do zooming in and then I got my sweater I got my shoes I got wear black shoes and I gotta head to work and yeah I work at 4 45 to 9 today